The decades-long rule of President Robert Mugabe appeared to be over Wednesday after Zimbabwe's military took over state television to announce the autocrat and his wife were in custody. Army chiefs told viewers that the 93-year-old despot, the world's oldest head of state, and his family were safe and sound as tanks appeared on the streets of the capital, Harare. The U.S. Embassy was closed to the public Wednesday and encouraged citizens to shelter in place, citing the ongoing political uncertainty through the night. Neither Mugabe nor his wife Grace, who has been vying to succeed her husband as president and leader of the ruling ZANU-PF party, have been seen for several days. However, the military insisted there had not been a coup. Their security is guaranteed, Major. Gen. Sidya Sisomoyo said in a national address Wednesday after taking control of the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation. We wish to make it abundantly clear that this is not a military takeover. We are only targeting criminals around Mugabe who are committing crimes that are causing social and economic suffering in the country in order to bring them to justice, he continued. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. Armed soldiers stationed themselves at key points in Harare on Wednesday, while Zimbabweans formed long lines at banks to withdraw cash, a routine chore in a country plagued by economic crisis and hyperinflation. Overnight, at least three explosions were heard. It was not clear if the military planned to remove Mugabe who has been in power since independence from white minority rule in 1980, but opposition lawmakers said the aging strongman's departure was inevitable. We knew that a day such as this one was on its way, said Promise Mkwananzi, spokesman for opposition pressure group, Tahamuka, and a former leader of the Zimbabwe National Students' Union. It was only a matter of time. He speculated that the military could rule Zimbabwe, that is my pessimistic view, but said it was more likely that army chiefs would install a pro military leader such as Emerson Nangagwa, who was fired from his post of vice president by Mugabe last week. They could even allow Mugabe to continue as a figurehead president, Mkwananzi said. Nangagwa, 71, is a former Mugabe ally who earned the nickname Lena, or the Crocodile, after leading a group of fighters called the Crocodile Gang during the country's pre-1980 war of independence against white minority rule, Voice of America reported. He was sentenced to death for blowing up trains in the 1960s but was never executed because of his young age. The military move came after Army Commander Constantino Chiwenga threatened to step in to calm political tensions. ZANU PF responded by accusing the general of treasonable conduct. But now Chiwenga appears to be in control. Tendai Bidi, leader of the opposition People's Democratic Party, said, if it fluffs like a duck, waddles like a duck, then it's a duck.
This is a coup dot there's no question about that dot he added, the real issue now is how do we go back to our former, legitimate legal order, and in my view this is the time to introduce an inclusive national transitional authority that will establish a roadmap towards a democracy. Frustration has been growing in once prosperous Zimbabwe as the economy collapses under Mugabe after 37 years of near one party rule. The country was shaken last year by the biggest anti government protests in a decade. Mugabe's latest five-year term began in 2013 after elections that the U.S. said were flawed. Washington said it had no plans to loosen sanctions until there were signs of change in the country. He told his critics to go hang and reportedly served elephant meat at his 91st birthday celebrations. The Zimbabwe Peace Project reported a near 50% month-on-month increase human rights violations during July, the latest period for which it had figures. Violations included political rights, right to personal security, freedom of association, freedom from arbitrary eviction, property rights and the right to food among others, it said. Jacob Zuma, president of neighboring South Africa, expressed concern at the unfolding situation. President Zuma has called for calm and restraint and has expressed hope that developments in Zimbabwe would not lead to unconstitutional changes of government, a spokesman said.